Hey everybody, here's five tips to help you survive marine combat training. Tip number one, don't report to MCT early. Let's say you're leaving for MCT on a Monday and your orders say you don't have to report no later than Wednesday night. When you get on that plane and you get into Jacksonville or wherever you're flying to, don't go to MCT right away. Like I know the Marine inside of you is saying like, be a good Marine, go straight to MCT, it'll be fine. Enjoy those precious hours of freedom that you have left before you have to embrace the suck. If your no later than date says Wednesday night, don't go before Wednesday night. Go and get a hotel room, maybe grab a room with some buddies, go out to eat, go see a movie, go to the mall. If you're of age, you can drink. Enjoy those few hours. Don't go to MCT any earlier than you have to. Which brings me to tip number two. If you're a schmuck like me and you go to MCT early, like I did, don't volunteer for anything. I volunteered and you know what happened to me? I got put on camp guard duty for two whole months and then you're stuck at MCT way longer than you have to be. Just patrolling the base with your vest and a light stick. Tip number three, save the snacks in your MREs. Now I know you're gonna wanna eat those Skittles or the brownies or whatever, but if you save them, you can actually get a lot of money for them. Now being the entrepreneur that I was back in MCT, I saved my Skittle packets. People lose their minds when they're out in the field. Money doesn't become like a concept anymore. They're just like, whatever, it's just paper. I'm freezing cold, I want a snack. I started selling Skittles for $10 a pop. If you save your snacks, it keeps you from getting fat while you're out in the field and you can make a little bit of money. My fourth point, and this is mostly for the camp guard people and the ITB folks, is to enjoy your weekends. What I mean by that is don't just lay around the barracks all day, get out, go to the gym, uh, go to the PX, you know, enjoy yourself, go see a movie or whatever on base. Another thing you can do is buy up like the snacks, some dips, some cigarettes, and then midway through the week, when everybody else has already ate all their snacks, smoked all their cigarettes, and they can't go for a PX run, sell yours. Because I was a little bit smarter than the average bear, I was able to pay for my round trip home for Christmas leave by just selling candy bars and dip out of my footlocker. So, yeah, save up your stuff. My last tip for how to survive MCT is to use the heaters inside of your MREs. Now, all of your combat instructors are going to tell you, don't use the heaters. Don't make a little heater bomb out of them, which if you don't know, you can make a little bomb out of the heaters and MREs, but we won't talk about that right now. What we will talk about is when it's in the middle of December and you're freezing cold and there's icicles hanging from your nose, use that heater in the morning to get a little bit, you know, to warm up a little bit. When everybody else was throwing away their heaters, I actually collected them. So when it was really cold in the middle of December, I could whip out a heater and warm up real quick. It's just all about being smarter than the average bear. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Clayton Philpo. All right, later guys.